so sitting on Saturday, they've had a good start. What sort of your thoughts on, on them? Uh, Sutton uh, had a good season last season, good FA Cup run. Uh, I feel that they possibly were one of the best teams in the league last year and uh, could have finished higher really. So I expected uh, them this season to put in a challenge and I, and I think that will be the case. Uh, they lost a couple of players but they've signed some good players. Um, I've looked at the squad that they have and they've got a few options and also it's difficult um, on their pitch as well to go away from home so it is one of the, when you look through the fixtures, it, it is one of the, the toughest games of the season. Mm. Would you say last season perhaps they didn't fulfil the potential in, in the league and then you've seen that this season to a degree? Yeah, I, I think so. Um, they, I mean it was the first season in the league last year. I think um, luck plays a part as well. I, I, I know that a lot of their games, uh, especially away from home, I, I read the reports and spoke to the manager. I think they had a lot of games where they were unfortunate not to get more points than they did. and then. With having a cup run, which takes a lot of games as well, it probably, I think that took took uh, over as their priority. Uh, but certainly, I expected them to be strong this year, and uh, I, I do think they'll challenge. Mm. Fair to say, injuries have played the part for the team this season. What sort of the situation going into Saturday? Yeah, I think we can all moan about uh, injuries, but uh, we have had injuries to to players, which is has disrupted things. Um, going into Saturday's game, uh, we won't have uh, James Montgomery won't be fit and Scott Barrow won't be fit. Um, Fraser Kerr trained yesterday for the first time, but we'll have to see how he is because obviously we're training for a couple of days on AstroTurf, so we'll have to see, especially with him having a back injury, we'll have to see how he copes with that. How close are James Montgomery and Scott Bauer to come back? Is it next next game or? Uh, no, I, I don't think um, either of them will be fit for the next game. Okay. And um, obviously the pitch you mentioned down at Sutton, does that affect your selection at all? Because there'll be some players who. Uh, it doesn't affect. Um, there's obviously some players I'm more, more comfortable on that surface, but um, I think. It would be wrong to make changes just based on the fact that you know, because for one I don't see enough of we only play on 3G at certain times so it's not like I'm basing um, the team selection on, on one people are doing on 3G. Um, I, I'll pick a team that I feel can get a result at, at Sutton um, but it, like I say we, we've had a difficult run of fixtures away from home and this is another one. We want to improve all areas as manager, but is there any specifics you'd be looking to improve on? Yeah, no, I, I think we've we have done well defensively up until Saturday, and one thing we had done well up until Saturday was we defended set pieces as well. Um, conceded off one on Saturday, which was disappointing in the Arabic part of the game. We've got to maintain a defensive shape, but we obviously need to score more goals. We need to get. Um, we, we we were better in possession on Saturday, at Dagenham for about uh, a good part of the game. We passed the ball quite well, and we made a few chances. And we've got to continue to do that. Mm. Um, own goals, obviously, the biggest source of goals this yeah. season. Is that a worry at all? Well, if own goals finishes with thirty goals this season, then I, I, I'm, I'm not going to complain. Um, the rate, the rate that he's going, I think we, we, we should look to sell him goals and get, get a good fee from him because he's uh, he's chipping in with some goals. But um, I think they all, all of the three own goals have been because we've put a ball into a good area and we've got to continue to do that. But you want your forward players at the club to you know to get goals and it gives them confidence. And at the moment. We've got um, a few forwards who need a goal just for their confidence, um, but it's it, it's not a concern at the moment because you're not going to go to something and make loads, make loads of chances. You might get a, a few where you've got to be clinical, but but over the season we know we've got to get get players into into double figures.
Mm. September's obviously a tricky month. Have you got a set points total in mind, or is it just no? No, on? honestly, I don't have a set points total. I, I I know how many points we'd need, or a good idea of, to get into the into the playoffs. So that's always a target, I suppose, in the back of your mind. But I don't go from month to month because you never know what's going to happen in terms of form with injuries or anything like that. I, I, I'm a, I know that we've got some difficult games, but I think you've just got to prepare for every game properly and hopefully put in a performance which gets you a result. Mm. This stage of the season, the table's so close together, a couple of wins, you could be right down there in a couple. Yeah. No, no, like I say, you could have a, you could have a bad week and, and lose games and go right down the bottom, you know, into the bottom four and you could have a good week and go into the top four. It, that's what it's like and I, and I do feel it will be competitive all the way through the season. So if any team can string together a run of wins, I, I, I do think it could move you up the table a long way. Do you think, though, how many games in do you think there'll be so, where well, we start, start to get a picture of how the table's going to look? Uh, well, I, I think you, if you're asking me now, there's teams who are not in the top four or five who I expect will, will push on. Uh, I think it's just a matter of time. Um, and there's other teams that um, you have to look at the league. We're only into September, four managerial changes in that time, which shows it shows uh, what word I'm, word I'm looking for. It shows, um, oh, I don't know if I'd say panic's the word, but it shows how desperate teams are to be successful and nobody's prepared to wait and give anybody any time. Um, and, and that's what happens when people start making changes. So other managers will come in, you know, those teams could pick up. You just don't know. To, it is a competitive league, and um, a manager once said to me in this league that every point you get is a hard-earned point, and, and I do believe that's the case.